Hi folks, welcome on in here to our user group webinar here today. My name is Jim. I'm coming to you live on a sunny day here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we are going to be spending the next 20 or so minutes uh, talking about a couple of the reports in the donations module, um, specifically all of the ones on the donation reports menu. Um, that we'll be discussing today. Uh, future webinars will cover uh, other reports in the donations module. Um, but today we'll just be covering a couple of them on the donation ports, reports menu. So uh, on your screens, everybody should have uh, a go-to webinar control panel um, that you can um, either minimize or maximize using the little orange or red button, usually in the upper left-hand corner with the little arrow button on it. Minimizing that is gonna open up a little bit more room on your display to see what we're talking about here today. Maximizing that will allow you to get access to the different features there, um, including the questions section there. Um, I'll be going, um, for a little bit for you know 15 20 minutes talking about these reports uh, at which point at the end of that presentation um, I am going to be leaving the room open a little bit hopefully at that time I'll be able to get to some of your questions as we go um, so uh, again welcome on in here let's go ahead and get started um, we're going to be um, opening the donations module we're running in version 21.18.3 as you see in the upper right hand corner of our church windows portal window. So opening donations, you just click on the donations button there. And that takes us into our donations module. I'm going to select in the tabs along the top of the screen, the reports slash export tab. And the uh, reports we're going to be covering in our presentation here today are the reports on the menu when I click donation reports. So let's go ahead and get started with the log report. This is a transactional report. It's gonna show individual gifts uh, filtered in the ways that you set on these opening screens. Uh, you're gonna see that there are a series of five tabs here along the top that you can change the settings for our report here. And we'll just go on down the line and talk about kind of what those things have there. Um, here on the filter tab, um, this is where you're going to control the gifts that will appear on the report itself. Um, so there are several things that you can change on here. The first thing I want to point out is that when you first come here, you'll see the date occurred right here. It's going to default to usually the calendar year where you're sitting down in front of the computer. Um, so you'll see it's defaulting to January 1st through December 31st, 2019. So that's just the way it defaults. If you do want to limit it to a more specific date, you can click on your little down arrow here and select a particular date. You can even uh, select that and type it if you wanted to select a specific date, which we'll go ahead and do here. Um, you can limit this to uh, gifts only to a particular account. You can limit this to gifts only from a particular giver, from the account and the giver sections appropriately here. Um, you can limit it to a particular payment method type. However you want to limit this, you can do it on this window right here. Um, if, it's, if, you, if there's a particular transaction that you're looking for, uh, you can limit this also by a particular check number if you know what that is, or a particular transaction number. Every gift that you post into the SIP into the system is assigned a specific transaction number. You could limit it in that way as well, uh, amount as well if you wanted to do it in that manner. So basically uh, uh, this limits which gifts actually appear on the report. The next tab along the top here is the group and sort tab. This limits how the report is formatted in terms of the order 
uh, of the gifts that you're going to see. So you'll see when I click on this tab in parentheses um, uh, that it's it's sorted by giver here. So sort field one giver, you can click on the down arrow here, you can uh, limit this, or, or pardon me, sort this uh, by date posted, uh, any number of other ways that you can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it defaulted by giver. I also want to point out that this is grouped by field one. And you'll see what I mean when we look at the report in just a moment. When it's grouped by a particular field, there's sort of a header that separates uh, uh, by the group sorted here, by the sort field. You'll see a group uh, sorting. I'll, I'll show you that when we're looking at the report here. But you can um, limit it. You can um, sort it more specifically. Within each giver, I want to sort it by the uh, date uh, occurred, the donation date. So within each giver, then it sorts in donation date order within that. So you can kind of make it more specific um, with multiple sort fields on there. Uh, OK, so the next tab is the columns tab. We do have uh, a ton of flexibility. This is where a lot of the flexibility of our reports kind of come out is in the columns tab. You will notice there's two sides to the screen. There is the uh, visible columns on the right side. These are the columns that are actually going to appear on the report. Over here on the left side where it says available columns is all the stuff that you have uh, available to you to show on your report. So you'll see there is a just you know a, a, a good number of options on this. So any gift that you post into the system may have all of this information available with it. So we're going to show by default here is the transaction number, the date of the gift. If there was a batch code in use, we'll show that. Uh, check number, the account it was posted to, and the amount. So if you wanted to add another thing to this, let's say we wanted to add payment method, um, we can select that, click on the arrow pointing to the right, and you will see that plop into our visible columns over here on the right side. That's just the information as it displays on your report. There is a fonts tab next. That allows you to control your fonts. You see we're running in Times New Roman 9.75 font. You can adjust that if you want to by clicking on the button to change those things. Last tab is the report options. Um, these are really, for the giver names, um, it will, if you check all of these things, membership category indicator, uh, if you're using members and visitors as categories in your membership module, it'll show like a little parentheses M or a little parentheses V to show that they're from members or visitors. And then the second checkbox is to have a little bracket D if they're from the donations module. That's where the giver originates from. So let's take a look at our report as we have it set now. Kind of collates all of that stuff and shows us this report here. Let me get it over to this view. Okay, so you'll see here it is grouped by giver, which means that every giver is kind of highlighted in, you know, it's the, the information is indented. Each giver is bolded and highlighted on here um, to more clearly separate uh, these gifts by giver here. So this is basically the January 27th batch that was posted. You'll see um, um, the check numbers listed here, the total of the gift uh, of the gifts given on that day. So if you did this same report just open for the entire year, you'll see multiple gifts uh, for each of them listed in there. If I were to come back to filter and run this for the entire year, And then tab over here, January 30, or December 31st. Okay, if we run it in this way, for each of the givers, you may see different dates that they've posted here. So this can either kind of be kind of recreating a batch report type of a thing, or it can show you all the gifts for the entire year. 
Okay, that is our log report. Good, 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 good. All right, so the next report we want to take a look at here on our list under donation reports is the giving summary. This one does not show specific gifts from individual uh, folks. This one groups gifts together by date entered in the system. This one has a lot less uh, options, as you can see by the fact that we only have a filter tab and a fonts tab for this one. Um, you'll notice that the date occurred in this one, over here in the column on the right, just goes to today's date when you run it in this one. Um, so oftentimes you will limit this just to a particular date. So let's do that January 27th date again. And when you run this one, you will basically just be looking at the totals that were entered in that particular date for each giving account. So you'll see the total given to the general fund, missions, etc. when you're looking at it on this. So this report, if you wish to, and if you are using batch codes, uh, which you'll see here that we are not in our training data, but if you are using batch codes, you can back on the filter tab, limit this report just to a particular batch code if you have them entered. Batch codes are generally used by churches that have multiple services on the same day and want to be able to break their reporting down by service. That's the most common use of it. Um, so if you wanted to only show your early services, you could select that and filter it in that manner. If we do run the same report, uh, for the entire month of January here, for example, it's going to give us multiple dates and summarize each of them on this report. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could limit this just to giving for a particular giving account. So if I wanted uh, like a January uh, summary report just showing giving to the general operating fund here, I can run it in that way. So this is going to show us all of our dates. So there's our there's our January 6th date, all the giving to the general fund, et cetera, on down the, through the month of January in our system here. All right, so the giving summary, you're looking at more of a totals as opposed to showing individual gifts um, posted on these particular days. Okay, that is our giving summary report. Again, we've got a fonts tab if we want to use that, change our fonts for our report there. All right, last report on our list here under donation reports is the deposit slip report. This is um, a deposit slip that you can, uh, uh, based upon the giving that was recorded here in donations, um, and if you will limit this one to our January 27th date, when we select that date using the date in the upper left hand corner, what you're going to see on our report here is the total that was recorded as cash in that donations batch that we had posted on the 27th, and it will show us individual checks that we entered in for that uh, donations batch as well. You'll see over here on the left side uh, the uh, bank that you are depositing your gifts into. Um, it's going to pull the name of the bank and your bank account number over from your accounting module for the information that was recorded on that asset account. When you're transferring from donations over into accounting, you're recording this money being deposited into a particular asset account. And you can also print that information on your deposit slip report if you do uh, include that checkbox right there. If you put a check mark for including accounting entries here, um, what it'll try to do is it'll try to grab uh, 
uh, enter income transactions as well from over in the accounting module. This is a batch that has not been transferred over to accounting, so when I check that, it actually clears all this stuff out. So if that doesn't work for you, another thing you can do, I'm going to uncheck that so we're looking at our donations information on here. If you are also including a separate check into this deposit uh, to the bank, you can actually use the buttons down here in the lower right-hand corner to either add a check or remove a check from this deposit slip. So if I wanted to add an additional check here, I could simply click Add Check. It brings us to the next li the line up here on the top. Okay, we have a check for $125 that didn't come in through donations that we also want to appear on this deposit slip. Once you've got all this stuff all straightened out here, you can click your print button and it will take you to your deposit slip report. Shows you your bank at the top here, uh, the bank account number, and it's going to show you your total in cash, and then a list of all the checks that you have on that deposit slip. Print this out, attach it to your deposit, take it over to the bank. All right, and that, folks, is all I have for you today. Um, those are the three reports we get under the donation reports menu here in the donations module. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today. Um, if you're all set to get on with your day, feel free to click on the X in the upper right-hand corner of your GoToWebinar control panel. That'll exit you out of the room and let you get on with your day. Uh, for folks who are out of here, thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, for other folks who want to hang around, I will now take a look at some of the questions that we got as we came in. Um, I was joined by Josh here today who has been helping with que questions as we've been going through. Um, yeah, if you have any questions at this time, feel free to go ahead and type those in. Like I said, I will leave the room open for a minute or two here if you have any last minute questions here. Um, difference between the browse donation screen. Well, the law, I, okay, uh, 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 David, I assume the, 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 the question here is kind of what's the difference between the donations browse window and the donations log report? They actually show the same information. The log report, uh, if I go to the donations tab and I click on browse, this is a grid showing me all of our gifts that we have here. If I click on my change dates filter and sort button in the upper left hand corner, we're looking at all of the exact same tabs that we had for the log report. And any of the settings that I put in here, if I were to click print donations, this button right up here in the upper right hand corner, it's all the same information. It's all the same information. The difference um, is that from this window, you can correct gifts um, or reverse them. And the other screen is just a report. That's all that is. Um, um, number of giving units by year, Carol is asking, get the number of giving units by year. That's probably a membership report that you're going to want to run there. Um, you just kind of go into membership and do a report over there and saying everybody with giving of one penny or more and then run like a basic report over in, in the membership module. Um, yeah, that, that, that type of a, a report is probably done over in membership. Um, yeah, if you're adding a check or removing a check from the deposit slip, that has nothing to do with what was actually posted in church windows. When I was showing you, uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. When I was showing you that, that you could add a check to the deposit slip report here, that's assumed to be like, a, if, you, if that were posted in church windows, it's assumed that that would probably have been posted over in accounting and it doesn't show up over here in donations. That's just, uh, uh, it doesn't actually post anything into the system if you add a check on this. It's just for the, uh, the deposit slip report itself. It doesn't actually show up uh, anywhere else other than the report that you're printing here.
if you had something else to enter, you'd probably want to go over into accounting and enter that as an, uh, a post-income transaction, most likely. Uh, Non-cash in-kind giving. Yeah, we're going to try to keep the questions to the topics at hand for this webinar. Um, if you do have in-kind giving, just real quickly, um, you'd probably enter that as a $0 amount on the enter donations window and just type in a description of what the gift actually was. Any, yeah, question about NSF checks, if you reverse a check, if you need it back in your system, you just go to enter donations again to re-enter it and then transfer it back over to accounting again. Um, if you have more questions about that, feel free to give us a call into our support line number uh, at 800-533-5227. We'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and close up the room here for us here today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, one last question. Can you export the report to an Excel worksheet? Absolutely. Any report that you run, you can also use this export button. Um, there's going to be a print button and an export button that allows you to export that information out. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. Um, so all of these reports can be exported as well. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I'm going to go ahead and end the webinar. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Bye now.